There's a lot to talk about Apple's new A12 Bionic processor and its iPhone X and XS Max, but how does it stack up against Huawei's Kirin 970 on the P20 Pro? Are the huge differences in benchmarks an indication of real-world speed? Let's begin with booting up both the phones, where the iPhone XS is just ever so slightly faster than the P20 Pro, but this doesn't make a significant difference. To test unlock speeds, we've got Face ID on the iPhone XS versus the fingerprint scanner on the P20 Pro. I think the P20 Pro is faster here because of its always active fingerprint scanner as opposed to pressing the power button to activate Face ID. To keep things fair for this test, we'll make sure that both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and that they're on their latest software. I'll also switch the iPhone camera to front facing because sometimes it can default back to the primary camera, which is not what we want for this speed test. But with all that done, let's clear all background apps and start the test. Because the iPhone is faster at clicking a picture with the camera application, it takes the lead during the first row of applications. But on Chrome, the P20 Pro overtakes it, loading up GNTech's mobile website faster. It continues to extend the lead and makes it of two applications by the time it starts loading up the games. Through this test, both Huawei's and Apple's navigation UI felt smooth and responsive, which was nice to see. While loading up the games, the iPhone has some room to catch up and that's exactly what it does at Asphalt 9. But because the P20 Pro started loading the game first, it moved onto the system applications to finish the first round in 1 minute and 32 seconds, whereas the iPhone XS came in behind at 1 minute and 36 seconds. As we know, the second round is more to test RAM or memory management, and while the P20 Pro has 6GB, the iPhone XS or XS Max comes with 4GB. But despite the difference, both the phones managed to keep all applications in memory through the second round, which was quite something. It shows how well optimized iOS 12 is on the iPhone XS, and I'm sure a few of the applications would have reloaded on the P20 Pro had it come with 4GB of RAM as well, just from previous experience. But noticeably in this round, the iPhone XS also managed to bridge the gap between it and the P20 Pro, and caught up towards the end where the P20 Pro came in with a final time of 2 minutes and 8 seconds for the entire test, while the iPhone XS clocked a time of 2 minutes and 10 seconds. For the Huawei P20 Pro, we see how well the Kirin 970 chipset is capable of performing even though it's now almost a year old, having stayed neck and neck with Apple's new A12 Bionic CPU. But from an Apple perspective, we see how well the hardware and software on the phone is integrated to provide an experience that rivals flagships with superior specifications as well. That's all for this one, thank you guys for watching and check out our other videos if you've missed them. Subscribe for more videos in the future and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.